Let us discuss a problem in rotational mechanics. We are given two discs with radii R1 and R2 are fixed together so that their centers are above each other. The moment of inertia of the disc system for this complete system I is given as the greater disc stands on a frictionless table. This is a frictionless table. The massless strings that are wrapped around the greater and the smaller disc pass over pulleys. So these are the strings and these strings are passing over the pulley and are attached to blocks of masses M1 and M2 and these strings are attached using a pulley with masses M2, M1. Find the value of M2 at which the axis of symmetry of the disk system remains stationary. So we are given that the axis, this axis of the disk system is not moving. So the disk system is not moving. If we see in the horizontal plane, the forces are in the horizontal plane, the forces are due to this tension, due to tension in this string and there is no friction. So only horizontal forces are this tension and this tension. Let us make the diagram. I am making the diagram from top view. So this is the top view of the disk system. In this top view, tension in this string is like this and tension in this string will be like this. This radius, a smaller radius is R2 and this larger radius is equal to R1. I am taking these two tensions as equal. Otherwise, if net force is not zero in this horizontal plane, then this axis will start moving. So the tensions should be equal. Then only the axis of symmetry will remain stationary. But torque will not be zero. As this is the same tension, torque here is T into R2 and torque due to this tension is T into R1 and obviously R1 and R2 are different. This torque and this tension will produce torque in the anti-clockwise direction and this will produce torque in the sorry this will be in the clockwise direction and this is in anti-clockwise direction so net torque is produced in clockwise direction and angular acceleration of the disk system will be in the clockwise direction I am writing equation for torque T into R1 minus T into R2 this is equal to I into alpha. This is equation number one. Now writing equations for Newton laws of motion for M1 and M2. Free word diagram of M1, very simple. T upwards, weight downwards, and it is accelerating in downward direction, let's say A1. Acceleration of this block is equal to acceleration of this point of disc and this point is accelerating this point is accelerating with acceleration alpha into r1 so a1 is alpha into r1 in the similar way this m2 free word diagram of m2 tension is upwards and its weight is downwards m2g and acceleration of m2 let's say a2 and this a2 will be alpha into r2 equal to acceleration of this point of the disk system. Making two equations for NLM for the, the two blocks. The first equation for this block is M1G minus T is equal to M1 alpha R1. M2G minus T this is equal to M2 alpha R2. This is question number two, equation number three. Total variable we have one variable is T, one variable is alpha, and one variable we have to calculate is M2. And we have three equations. So we can solve for three equations and we can find M2 and the value of M2 from these equations will come out as this M2 is equal to.
एम वन आई डिवाइडेड बाई आई प्लस एम वन आर वन माइनस आर टू स्क्वायर एंड आफ्टर पुटिंग द वैल्यूज दीज the value of m2 will be 2.5 kg so this is the final answer to the given problem